Every day, we come across innovations that shape our world, often without realizing the genius behind them. An X-ray that peers into the human body, revealing secrets hidden beneath the skin. The silent guardian in our homes that warns us of smoke. A scientist tracing the unseen pathways of molecules. A watch that glows mysteriously in the dark. All these, and more, are the legacy of a woman whose brilliance illuminated the mysteries of the universe. But who was this woman, and how did her discoveries change the world as we know it? Welcome to Rapid Rewinds and join us today as we dive into a tale so captivating, it redefines determination. It is the tale of a woman who was infinite in a world of boundaries, and a compass in an age of discovery. This is the tale of Marie Curie, a name that sparked revolutions in science and spirit. Stay tuned, for this is a journey you don't want to miss. Before we begin go hit that subscribe button and bell icon. Born in Warsaw, Poland, in 1867, Marie Curie was introduced to the world as Maria Sklodowska. From the moment she opened her eyes to the world, Marie's memory was unparalleled, capturing every detail. At just 16, she dazzled everyone, securing a gold medal in the prestigious Russian Lycée. But the path wasn't always golden. Her father, a genius in math and physics, faced the blow of lost fortunes. This twist of fate led Marie to the classrooms, teaching by day. But by night, she was a secret torchbearer in the floating university, an underground movement defying the odds to educate women in a time when they were denied formal education. Whispering knowledge in forbidden Polish gatherings, she became an emblem of hope. At 18, Marie Curie, working as a governess for the Zorowski family, fell in love with their son, the budding mathematician Kazimierz Zorowski. But, with Marie seen as a penniless outsider, Kazimierz's parents disapproved. Torn between love and family, their romance ended, leaving a poignant chapter in Marie's life. She poured her earnings into her sister Bronislaw's medical dreams in Paris. This wasn't just sisterly love, it was a promise. A promise that Bronislaw would one day help Marie chase her own dreams. In 1891, Sklodowska moved to Paris, adopting the name Marie. At the Sorbonne, she attended lectures by renowned physicists like Paul Appel and Gabriel Lippmann. Working tirelessly in her modest student quarters, she subsisted mainly on bread and tea. By 1893, she topped her class in physical sciences and, a year later, ranked second in mathematical sciences. This is where she met Pierre Curie. Their bond was magnetic, both in heart and intellect. In 1895, Marie and Pierre Curie's marriage began a groundbreaking scientific partnership. Inspired by Henri Becquel's 1896 discovery, which Marie later termed radioactivity, she delved into research, curious if other elements shared this trait. Her focus shifted to pitchblende, a mineral mysteriously more active than pure uranium. This anomaly led to a groundbreaking discovery, two new elements, radium and polonium. Radium, with its mesmerizing glow. And polonium, named after Marie's homeland. While Pierre explored the physical properties of these radiations, Marie, with the assistance of chemist André-Louis de Bien, endeavored to isolate pure radium. Their collective efforts reached a pinnacle in 1903 when Marie not only earned her doctorate, but also achieved a landmark moment for women everywhere. She, alongside Pierre and Bequel, was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics for their work on radioactivity. This wasn't just a personal triumph. Marie's recognition marked an era where a woman's contributions to science were celebrated on the world stage shattering previous limitations and setting a precedent for future female scientists. 
In the midst of their scientific endeavors, Marie and Pierre welcomed two daughters into their world, Irene in 1897 and Eve in 1904. But motherhood didn't deter Marie's passion for science. By 1900, she was sharing her knowledge with young women at the École Normale Supérieure in Savries, revolutionizing teaching with hands-on experiments. And by December 1904, she took on a pivotal role, becoming the chief assistant in the very laboratory led by her husband, Pierre. In 1906, tragedy struck when Marie Curie lost her beloved Pierre in a street accident. Devastated yet determined, she channeled her grief into their shared passion for science. By May of that year, she stepped into Pierre's role at the Sorbonne, making history as its first female professor. Her dedication only grew, leading to her groundbreaking book on radioactivity in 1910 and a Nobel Prize in chemistry the following year, for isolating pure radium. By 1914, her vision of the Radium Institute at the University of Paris came to life, cementing her legacy in the annals of science. As World War I cast its dark shadow over Europe, Marie Curie, with her daughter Irene by her side, embarked on a mission of hope and healing. They championed the use of X-radiography, introducing what Marie affectionately termed Little Curies, mobile radiography units. These units, often stationed in vehicles, were driven right to the battlefront, enabling swift medical interventions. Marie recognized the urgency of detecting shrapnel and fractures in wounded soldiers without invasive procedures. Her concern was deeply personal, she envisioned a world where science alleviated suffering. Before moving on don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. In 1921, Marie Curie and her daughters visited the US, where President Harding gifted her a gram of radium, funded by American women. She lectured globally, from Belgium to Brazil. Recognized by the League of Nations, she also witnessed the growth of the Curie Foundation in Paris and the launch of Warsaw's Radium Institute in 1932, led by her sister Bronislawa. Marie Curie, with her foresight, realized the importance of accumulating radioactive sources, not just for medical treatments but also for groundbreaking nuclear research. This vision led to a stockpile at the Radium Institute in Paris, unmatched until particle accelerators emerged in the 1930s. This repository, enriched with radium D and polonium over years, played a pivotal role in the 1930s experiments. Among the trailblazers was Marie's daughter, Irene Curie, and her husband, Frederick Joliet. Their collaborative efforts paved the way for Sir James Chadwick's discovery of the neutron and, notably, the Joliet Curie's unveiling of artificial radioactivity in 1934. For this monumental discovery, Irene and Frederick were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Marie Curie, after her groundbreaking discoveries, faced a personal tragedy. She began showing symptoms of a disease, believed to be a result of prolonged radiation exposure, years before her actual diagnosis. Despite these health challenges, her unwavering commitment to science often led her to overlook her own well-being. Sadly, she succumbed to aplastic anemia on July 4, 1934. In honor of her life and contributions, her ashes were laid to rest in the cemetery of Cease, beside her beloved husband, Pierre Curie. Her legacy in physics was monumental, marked not only by her pioneering work, which earned her two Nobel Prizes, but also by the indelible mark she left on future nuclear scientists. Her research paved the way for the field of radiology and the use of radiation therapy in treating cancer.
Years later, in 1995, Paris honored her unparalleled contributions by placing her ashes in the Pantheon, making her the first woman to be recognized for her individual achievements. Today, her workspace stands frozen in time, transformed into the Curie Museum, a testament to her enduring impact on science. But her legacy isn't confined to her final resting place. Even today, her notebooks, filled with meticulous observations and groundbreaking revelations, are stored in lead-lined boxes at the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. Such is the potency of her work that these notebooks remain radioactive, a glowing testament to her life's passion. Marie Curie once said, Life is not easy for any of us. But what of that? We must have perseverance and above all confidence in ourselves. Her life stands as a testament to the idea that when a woman sets her mind on something with unwavering intention, she can overcome any obstacle to achieve it. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the life of Marie Curie. We value your feedback and invite you to let us know which historical personalities you'd like to explore next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more intriguing stories. Until next time, stay curious.